Hello, my name is Allison Jones. I understand that you've taken a series of chart training workshops. I'm doing qualitative evaluations about the training so we can learn more about how participants think about their training and what they've learned. Um, so I'd like to ask you about your experience with the chart trainings. Is that okay? Yes. Okay, great. Um, can you tell me your, your name, please? My name is Shay Bloomer. Shay Bloomer, okay. Can I call you Shay? Yes. Okay, thank you. Um, and Shay, what do you do for a living? What's your profession? I'm a nurse. You're a nurse. How long have you been nursing? I've been a nurse for 12 years. Oh, interesting. So first I'd like to start out and just kind of get your immediate reaction to the training, your memories of, of how it felt to be in the training. Um, what was your favorite part of the training and your least favorite part of the training? Um, well, uh, I would say that my favorite part of the training was that the facilitators really took time to have discussions with us and it was a very open... I know the training was a while ago but um, I'm wondering if in these conversations that you were having with the facilitators and with some of your colleagues can you remember um, any particular topic that was especially interesting for you? Well, one of the uh, topics that we talked about um, was taking sexual histories. Can you tell me um, anything else that you remember learning from the training? Well, one of the things that we discussed a lot at the training um, was patient confidentiality. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I feel like I was aware that confidentiality was important. I was not aware of the many ways that we can accidentally violate patient confidentiality. Mm -hmm. And um, it's caused me not only to look at my practice um, personally, but to also be thinking about the way things sort of happen in our clinic because... Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Can you tell me more about that? Well, for example, we have a very small waiting area that's directly in front of where all the patient records come out. And we have a limited number of consultation rooms. So a number of times during the day, um, conversations need to happen among providers, and there aren't very many places for that to take place. So can you um, tell me about any of the activities that were done in the training that have really stuck with you? Um, well, one of the activities that we did was um, an activity where we talked about the different words for the body parts that uh -huh. are in our vocabulary because so many of our patients don't use the sort of scientific terms that we use. Uh -huh. um, and so I think it helped to sort of desensitize us to that language and, and get us comfortable with all the language that patients might come in using. Um, and so it was both sort of, it was sort of entertaining and also a little awkward <laughs> at uh -huh. the same time. So let me... Um let me make sure that I, I have it right and I, I wrote it down correctly. So I think what I have here, you mentioned earlier, um, I, I thought I heard you say that there are some things that, that are being done differently in terms of conversations around the desk and keeping people's voices low. So that seems to me to be a change in um, now I'm hearing you say that there's not a change. So I, I'm wondering which part of it I'm not understanding correctly. Can you help me with that? Well, you asked about additional training, and I'm not sure that people need additional training to change their attitudes. Um, I think that, like what I mentioned about what's happening at the desk, and uh -huh. that's, that's not people intentionally Thank you so much for answering all these questions. It's been really helpful. Um, before we end, I was just wondering if there was any other feedback you'd like to provide about the training, how we could improve it, or things you'd like to see us do differently. Just that I, I really appreciated it, and it was really useful training. Um, and I hope that you'll keep me in mind for future training. Great. Thank you so much, Shay. Thank Have you. Have a nice day. Thank you.